Good morning, Eagle Nick Audience. Figured we'd try it again. Got a very hot and humid day out here today. After that heavy rain, severe lightning and high winds yesterday. Now, it is a very beautiful day today. I see a bunch of them yellow butterflies flying around everywhere. Over here by the creek, I seen some over there by that tree. It was a very severe storm last night. Now I was actually live streaming that storm. So be sure to check out that past live stream of the storm. If you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe. Eagle Nick would appreciate it if I could get as many people as I could to share my shorts, my videos, and my past live streams. Now, I almost had us a good police video this morning, or I thought I did, but I seen a Dalton Police Department vehicle parked over on the side of the road up there in that hole they always parked in. Now, as soon as I pulled out my phone out of my back pocket, they took off a waving at me. I never had time to get it set up to start recording or to even try to do a live stream. I guess they did not want to be on camera it was car number 64 or vehicle number 64 i should say it was one of them suvs sorry we missed you there vehicle 64 maybe better luck next time i should have been a little bit more covert instead of just popping that camera out on you Gonna have to move. Guess we'll have to move over here to the other side now. They was playing on the other side on the big playground, and then they gotta come over here to the other side. Good morning, Thomas. How you doing? 
Now, I don't understand that language you are speaking, but I hope you can understand Eagle Nick Audits. Eagle Nick is not a posky. I'm a hillbilly, an American hillbilly at that. Well, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening in Poland, whichever the case may be. I hope you have a blessed day. Good morning, Miss Brooke Cameron. How are you doing? Long time no see. It is an honor to see you back in the live stream. We left that dark can of mushrooms up there at the house. Sorry about that. We got the chicken noodle soup. The mushrooms are growing over by the creek. I'm not going by the creek. It's too much hot. Too much sun shining. Thank you so much, Miss Brooke. Much love to you as well. Eagle Nick Audits loves them there Canadians. I like that Canadian bacon pretty good, too. But we always just called it ham. Now, I do not know if y'all actually call ham Canadian bacon or not. That's just what they call it in the United States. Failed father, what is your fascination with them there mushroom tips? There goes that butterfly flying across her path with them big old beautiful yellow butterflies. Now they're coming back around to this side. I'm not gonna keep moving my phone. I'm leaving it right where it is this time. I've done moved it one time. Well, luckily they went the other way up toward the creek up through there. Good morning, afternoon, or evening, Mr. Good Time. But why? It is a beautiful morning here in Dalton, Georgia. I pray that you all are having a awesome morning, afternoon, or evening. Be sure to check out that live stream I did yesterday evening. I, I, I was... Not for sure whether or not I was going to live through it with all that severe lightning. Now, Eagle Nick, when I said I was scared, I really was getting a little scared because it was a little bit extreme. There was lightning crashing all around me. I got some very good live stream footage of the lightning, I'm pretty sure.
Yeah, it's getting closer to that there afternoon. I think it's probably around 10, 30, 11 o'clock. I've not really paid that close attention to what time it actually is. Now, we got some people fixing to walk by. Now, they done been on both sides of the playground. Now, I've done moved the phone one time. I'm not going to move it again. I started out on the other side. I moved around to this side. Now, they are finally coming back in front of me. Yeah, I believe that's what time it is here is 11.03. Them magic mushrooms, Miss Brooke. You better watch out about eating them. They might make you think you can fly. It is a very beautiful day. After all that doggone thunder, lightning, and high winds and heavy rain, no Eagle Nick got soaking wet. I ended up had to stand up on one of them thar picnic tables. Well, actually, there's only one under that thar little shed. Now, I'm up under the big shed this time because the little sheds are in the direct sunlight this early in the daytime, and I do not want to get roasted anymore. I did a live stream yesterday out there at the Hag Mill Lake Park, and I got pretty cooked by that sun again. Good morning, Chris Tucker. How you doing, brother? I am from Dalton, Georgia, the carpet capital of the world, but we call it Georgia. Just one of them old Georgia hillbillies. Thank you for that there, Miss Brooke Cameron. I did not realize what the PEI was. I didn't realize it was Prince Edward Island. I know you'd said PEI many times, but I did not want to ask. I wasn't trying to let my ignorance be shown. I'm not too well versed on faraway places. Boy, there is a lot of them beautiful yellow butterflies flying around. These two just went by. I know one of them was in the frame, but I don't know about the other one. The other one was flying up pretty high. Good morning, lightning strike. Make sure you check out that live stream from yesterday evening, lightning strike. I got a bunch of them there lightning strikes on the live stream and a lot of that there thunder. The old Eagle Nick was not for sure that he was going to make it through it. I knew it was going to happen before I came down here, but I thought, well, it's just going to be a little storm. I'm going to go down there and check it out. But, boy, howdy, before it was all over, said and done, I wished I had come up here under this big old picnic table instead of going down there to that dark little shed because it got a little hairy scary and a little bit frightening. Now, Eagle Nick was not saying he was scared trying to create drama. It really was a little bit intensive. Now, how many of y'all seen my live stream from the other morning when that there hornet got me on my right hand? I had a hornet. I was moving a pine tree limb off of my mother's yellow rose of Texas bush. And at the start with, I thought something had bit me, but I'd close my hand up on a hornet. 
And that hornet got me on all four of them fingers there, and boy, it hurt like crap. At the start with, I said, something bit me. But when it started a hurting, I sort of let out a little bit of profanity. And YouTube placed that there ad suitability on the video, the live stream. And I couldn't help it. You know, it happened to hurt. You know, you think any normal person... If they get stung on four fingers at least six times, two on two of them and once or twice on the other ones, up to eight stings by one hornet, any normal person is liable to let some of them their profanities fly. You know what I mean, Vern? My mother passed away back in 2021. She was laid at rest by my father in the West Hill Cemetery. You have a very blessed day, Miss Brooke. Like I said, it is just awesome to see you again. Don't get out there and get too hot now. It would be my honor to see you again sometime. Now, I'm beginning to wonder if them their ad suitability videos might be having an effect on how many people is able to view my YouTube channel. So I do believe I'm going to have to remove all them their ad suitability videos and transfer them over to my second YouTube channel because it is not monetized. Yeah, it's getting closer, but that heat is relentless today. It feels mighty hot already, and it is very humid in Georgia. Well, the parking lot is completely empty now. There's nobody here at the park. We got a bunch of robins over there flying around you're looking at, if you can see them. Got one sitting right there. There's two or three of them sitting over there. You can see that moving around. There went one just flew up in the tree. So there is a lot of them there robins flying around. Enjoy it while it lasts, because if that happens to be the truth, that will all change after Donald John Trump gets in there again. You know what I mean, Vern? The Eagle Nick is not going to take any of that their bait today to cause me to use any profanity or say anything that would make this live stream add suitability as well. We're going to abide by them, their community guidelines. It 
if you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe. We got two or three of them there robins out there in the grass now. Good morning, side hustle audits or side hustle addict. What's your side hustle? Well, Eagle Nick would just like to say there's a whole lot of people that has a hard time understanding Eagle Nick Audit's accent. My accent is unique to me. Not everybody in the state of Georgia talks the way I do. I have a unique way of talking, but I was born that way. I believe I'm the biggest part of I'm going to let see what it said. Yeah, I believe that their side hustle addict needs a little bit more than a 30 second timeout or a 60 second timeout. So we're going to take care of that, their side hustle. If I can get a hold of them. Everybody say goodbye to that there side hustle. They won't be coming in no more. That side hustle had seen that hustle and flow. Look, him, him robins are getting a little bit closer up here now. There's a bunch of, a bunch of them over by the concrete. See if we can get some of them on there. Good morning, Locust Grove, Georgia. It is an honor to see you here. We're in Dalton, Georgia here. Glad to see you there, Wacky. So you are originally from Brazil. Trials and Dungeons. Trying to figure out what them gals are doing over there. There was a couple of gals got dropped out. And they went straight over by the side of the woods. I think they're meeting up with some of them our boys. Out here going to be doing the naughty. I always work in the carpet industry. I've been in about every aspect of it, from making the yarn to 
rolling the carpet up to driving the truck, delivering the carpet, working on a coating machine, putting the backing on the carpet, setting up the blending line to make the yarn, making the sample books, beveling the carpet, cutting the swatches, Well, if you have special needs, I can help you out there, basic. Let me give you some basic wisdom there, basic wisdom. Don't come on the live stream talking trash because saying stuff like you're glad you found a special needs channel is an insult to people who have special needs. So I have a special need for you. I am from Dalton, Georgia. The carpet capital of the world. And we had to send that our basic wisdom flying out that our door because I've done said I will not have no one come in offending a class of people. Now he was offending people who have. special needs he wanted some special attention so I gave it to him so you can tell them two gals is up to something boy they are hiding out back there They are hiding out back there in the back like they are waiting on some fellas to come up and pick them up. They probably told their mama, said, yeah, we just want to hang out at the park for a while, if you know what I mean. Hey, 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 John C. Glad to see you. Glad to see you there from Alabama. Trials and Dungeons. I do not think a food truck would do too good around here. There's too many restaurants. There are quite a few food trucks as well. They mostly cater to the Hispanics. They are mostly Mexican cuisine. I do not know if we have very many other food trucks. How you doing today, John? But why? Smoking Mother Nature. You got that right. Now, Eagle Nick's going to do a little smoking of his own on one of them there 24-7 red 100s. Now, I got one more little bottle of that Mountain Lightning that they sell at that dollar Walmart. Yep. 
Good morning, J.D. So glad to see you again, my friend. Oh, Eagle Nick is doing pretty doggone good. I'm back down here at the Al Rollins Park. And this time, we don't have no thunder, no lightning, no high winds, or no rain. Now, Trials and Dungeons, you might be the one that asked me to show me a gun one time. Now, let me state this. Flat out plain, Eagle Nick Audits does not own nor do I carry a firearm. I have a BB gun, a pump BB gun. Now, that uses air to propel a BB it is not a lethal weapon, and it is not classified as a firearm. But no, I do not have a gun. I only have a love gun, and I keep it holstered at all times, if you know what I mean, Vern. Good morning, Northwoods Press. So glad to see you again, my friend. Now, I got one of them there ants crawling on me. I just hope it don't bite me. I done been getting a lot of bites and stings here lately. I don't need no more. Great to see you again, Northwoods Press. Woo, woo. How are y'all doing up there in that NH? That NH is New Hampshire, I do believe. I hope y'all are having a blessed morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever time it may be. I do have a BB gun, but why, like I said, but I do not own, nor do I carry a firearm. I do support the Second Amendment, but that does not mean you have to possess or own a fire gun, a firearm to support it. Now, YouTube has a policy in their community guidelines about firearms, but now YouTube needs to learn the difference between a BB gun and a firearm. A firearm actually fires using gunpowder to propel a bullet, a projectile, at a high velocity, a high speed, and a BB gun, on the other hand, uses air to propel a BB. Now, a BB is not lethal. That sounds like a great old time, Northwoods. Be sure to post yours and everybody's links in here in the chat. I would like to ask everybody if you haven't already to hit that bar subscribe. Make sure to share as many of my shorts videos and past live streams as you possibly can and are would. Be sure to check out my subscriptions. I have a lot of awesome YouTube channels I subscribe to. Northwoods Press is just one of those. There is also NH Mountain Girl, Mama Bear, 
the Grim Reaper Network, Vigilante Media, Sean Little, Money 420, Eastern Arkansas Transparency, JD 187, Adams Empire, and so, so many more. So be sure to check out my subscriptions. Eagle Nick would really and truly appreciate it if I could get a bunch of shares so that I could try to get my YouTube subscriber count up to 7,777 before I go to my trial on September the 16th and September the 30th for my criminal trespass damage of $500 or less, all from exercising my constitutional rights at the United States Post Office in downtown Dalton, Georgia. Good morning. Anzi, good morning. How are you doing this fine day? Now, it is a beautiful day. We have a beautiful little dog going by. Check it out. There was no damage whatsoever. All I did was record. I was exercising my First Amendment rights. They said because I was causing disruptions, disruptions, when I was not causing any disruptions, all my videos are a record of exactly what went on. I stayed off to the side. I did not block or interfere with any business when they would be somebody who was a member of the public at large come up, I would say, you don't have to worry, ma'am. I'm not going to record you. I'll step out of the way. The only thing Eagle Nick audits damaged was people's prides and maybe their digestive system, if you know what I mean, Vern. But Eagle Nick audits is not responsible for people who get their feelings hurt because they act like a butthead when they are being recorded. Well, I hate to tell you that, brother. It starts out with the police chief because the police chief told me I was trespassed. Now, let me restate that. The police chief had another police officer to tell me that I was trespassed from the Dalton Police Service Center because I had slandered a police officer when I did a video inside the police department, the Dalton Police Service Center. Now, slander is liable. It is a tort. It is not criminal. You cannot be trespassed from a public property over something that is a civil matter.
Yes, sir. They definitely violated not just my First Amendment. They violated my Fourth Amendment rights by putting my name on any kind of paperwork because I had not committed any crimes. That is an illegal seizure of my name. They violated my 14th Amendment rights to equal protection. So they actually violated three of my rights, the First Amendment, the Fourth Amendment, and the 14th Amendment. Hello, Eastern Kentucky, Red Dog. Shout out to that dog, Red Dog. It is awesome to see you. Welcome into the live stream. Eagle Nick Audits is delighted to see you. Well, brother, let me tell you this. Private property is private property. You can be trespassed from private property just because you are on private property. Now, if you will Google criminal trespass in the state of Georgia, it states this plainly and simply. A person commits the offense of criminal trespass when they knowingly stay on the property of another. That means private property, not public property. There is a big difference between private property and public property. Private is what criminal trespass is all about. To be trespassed from public property you have to have committed a crime because trespassing on public property is a secondary offense. There has to be a first offense before you can legally be trespassed from public property. Now, in case you are not aware, every single person in the United States of America whether you are here legally or not, is free to walk inside any United States post office 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Thank you so much. I really and truly appreciate that there that Northwood sent you to me. I am honored. I have much love and respect for everyone, for Northwood's Press and NH Mountain Girl and Mama Bear and everyone. And I don't like these big old ants crawling on me going to try to sting me on the leg. Thank you so much for that there super. I really and truly appreciate it. Now, Eagle Nick Audits has those supers, but I do not ask anyone to use them. Anytime they are used, it is by people's own free will and their choice. I do not ask my moderators to ask people to do that. That is why it is so super. Because I think that you all are the ones who are super, and I thank you for being here. Northeast Media, so glad to see you. Thank you so much. Banjo Jimbo, thank you for being here. No, sir, that's because we do not. I'm not about that. You know, I've had them there supers for over a month, and I have never asked anybody to use them. They are free to be used, but I do not solicit money. 
The only thing I ask of anybody that watches my videos, my shorts, or my live streams, or who subscribes to my channel, is just to give Eagle Nick Audits a little bit more of your time when you are watching those shorts, videos, and past live streams to let those ads play that so Eagle Nick Audits can receive a few pennies every day paid through YouTube from them bar advertisers, if you know what I mean, Vern. Yes, sir, Banjo Jimbo. That is where the court case is from. And it actually is because if you will check out my YouTube channel, you will see I went back to the post office and did a Freedom of Information Act open records request at the post office. And that is supposedly why I got, they was able to get a trespass warrant against me. Now, I was never served a trespass warrant. I was never shown a trespass warrant. I was never issued a trespass to begin with. You know, they they said that they got that bar warrant because I was exercising my constitutional rights because the public defender said it was after I had went up there and did my Freedom of Information Act open records request that they obtained a warrant. Now, they came on to my property and arrested me without having a warrant in hand, an arrest warrant, but even with an arrest warrant in hand, they also have to have a search warrant to come on to private property say, stating where they are searching and what they are searching for. They violated my rights when they arrested me. They were trespassing on private property to arrest me for trespassing when I never trespassed. Now, NZ, let me tell you, I get a little silly on these live streams sometimes. I do, because, hey, we're all human. I just try to show people the humorous side. Now, Eagle Nick audits can be very serious when I have to be. Now, yesterday evening, I did a live stream down here. I got called out by my own doing in a severe thunder and lightning storm with real high winds and heavy rain. I came down here on purpose knowing that it was going to come a storm but was nowhere near aware of how severe it was actually going to be. Now when I said I was getting scared, I really was because that lightning was popping all around me and I got some awesome live stream footage of the lightning and you can hear that thunder it sounds like it's right on top of me now i mean it got so bad that i climbed up on top of the table Good morning, afternoon, or evening, North Northeast Media. Glad to see you. I think it says what it says. Let me pick up the phone where I can read the chat. It's getting hard to see that there chat. Yes, Northeast Media. It is an honor. Hey, I'm telling you, I was standing up the table, my hair was standing up, and I was getting scared.
Red Dog, thank you for being here. I'm from Dalton, Georgia, the carpet capital of the world. Banjo Jimbo, thank you so much for being here. Stuart Meredith, so glad to see you again. Eagle Nick is having an awesome, awesome day. John Chonka, thank you so much. Now, Dalton, Georgia is pretty doggone big, if you ask me. Now, our last census said that we had 100,000 people living in Dalton, Georgia, Whitfield County. But I'm here to tell you, we got that many immigrants. You know what I mean, Vern? But why? Thank you for being here. JD187, Northwoods Press. So glad to see everybody here today. And of course, lightning strike. Lightning strike. Why was that lightning trying to get me yesterday? It's like it was on a mission. Yeah, I'm telling you, though, 100,000, that ain't nowhere near how many's here. You know, you got to realize on that, our last census, they made sure that illegal immigrants could not be counted on the census. And that was just not in the state of Georgia. That was all over the United States of America. Therefore, we did not get an accurate count of how many people was in the United States. We didn't get an accurate count of how many illegal immigrants was in the United States who voted in our election in 2020, if you know what I mean, Vern. I tell you what, brother, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little ride through one day on my bicycle and show you the east side of town and just show you how the whole east side of Dalton is permeated with nothing but Hispanic businesses. Well, we have a lot of people that lives in tents, but they usually live down by the railroad tracks or out in the woods. There's a few that stays up under the Walnut Avenue Bridge. Now, I almost had a good police video this morning, but they took off when they seen me pull out my phone. Of course, they waved at Eagle Nick when they was driving off. There was two of them in the car. Vehicle number 64 with the Dalton, Georgia Police Department. One of them there SUVs. Hey, I'm telling you what, that's one thing I hate more than anything. When you call a damn telephone number for the local company or Georgia Power or Dalton Utilities, it says, for English, press one.
and a whole bunch of the real good jobs around Dalton, Georgia, the first qualification you must have to get that job is must be bilingual. So what's that tell you? Well, we got that there Biden administration to blame for all that because they had the southern border swung wide open forever. And that there Biden administration compromise turned out to be they're only going to allow 2,500 illegals a day to come across the border on purpose. Now, their job is to keep every single illegal immigrant out of our country, not to allow 2,500 a day to come in. Yeah, that ain't even nowhere near accurate. Banjo Jimbo, because at one time they had said they was 22 million. Now, Joe Biden has let nearly as many come across in his three, a little over three and a half years that he's been president. Now, it is ironic that Joe Biden has went back into the basement. And if you think that the United States of America is a mess right now, if somehow, by some sheer miracle, that Kamala Harris was to be our next president, this country will fall. There is no way this country can stand under four years of Kamala Harris. You got that right, Banjo Jimbo. I try to tell people about them chemtrails. They say I'm a conspiracy nut. Or make sure you check out RF's Killing Us Softly on YouTube. RF's Killing Us Softly. That is radio frequencies. And a lot of people going to call me a conspiracy theorist about this, but they are using radio frequencies to cause the stuff that goes on, them mass shootings, them school shootings, and all that stuff. It's all about mind control. It's all about total control. Now, YouTube is probably going to place that there ad suitability on this live stream because I said that. But I've then said Eagle Nick Audits only speaks the truth. Now, I have not used profanity, so there should be no reason that YouTube should censor this live stream in any way. But it says in the community guidelines, if you talk about controversial issues and stuff like that, everything is controversial now, YouTube. What is the big deal? You do not want to allow someone to have free speech, even though this is a public platform.
You got that right. I'm telling you. I'm talking about a total fall, a total destruction to the United States of America. Everybody in the United States better hold on to the seat of your pants. Because I'm going to tell you this, it does not matter if Donald John Trump is elected president. This country is headed into some of the worst times we have ever seen in our history. Can you say New World Order? Eagle Nick can, and I do. No, I mean Kim, C-H-E-M, Chemical Trails. That is where they dump them chemicals out of them airplanes on purpose in the sky. Them chemtrails are not by accident. They are done on purpose. Them chemtrails is what causes severe weather, causes it to be so hot. You got to realize that severe weather is designed to drive everybody closer together. That is the whole reason they started making them big subdivisions, big urban development projects to get it where people are all close together and not spread so far apart so they can control you easier. You know what I mean, Vern? It's all about control. Good morning, Mexico Ronald. We are having a meet and greet. So sit down and have a seat. You know what I mean, Vern? Yeah, they have turned the frequency up on all things. They did have it set at a, a level that was safe. Thank you so much, John, for coming in. I really and truly appreciate it. If you hadn't already, please be sure to subscribe. Share as many of my shorts and videos and past live streams as you possibly can. You have a blessed day. Stay safe. And I'll see you the next time, I hope. Now, see, the thing about it is Eagle Nick audits used to work. I've not worked since 2018 was the last time I actually had a job. I've been picking up aluminum cans when the weather allows me to, if it ain't too hot, just to get by. And I do not make a living at it, but I do survive. But it is so hard to get a good job in Dalton, Georgia, because Georgia is a at-will employment state. It is not a right-to-work state, and the biggest majority of all the jobs in Dalton, Georgia, and throughout the state of Georgia, you have to get hired on through them companies through a temporary agency, a temporary placement. Now, them temporary agencies, most of them companies in Georgia, after 90 days you work for a company, it's called a probationary period. After 90 days, they're supposed to hire you in, start matching your Social Security up to a certain amount put you on their insurance and put you on their workers comp insurance. Now there's too many companies in the state of Georgia that if you start asking about being hired in, 
when your 90 days is up, they will get that temp agency to send them new workers. Now, if you do not ask about getting hired in, they will let you work there until the cows come home, if you know what I mean, Vern. Thank you, John. You have a blessed day, brother. Don't work too hard now. I really and truly appreciate you. I really do. I polished off that second little bottle of that mountain lightning. I still have a full bottle of water, though, if it hasn't got too hot. A man, brother, and the truth shall set you free. Study to shew thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. And Jesus said, if they hate you, remember they hated me first. We've had a bunch of people come up in the park, but y'all ain't seen none of them. Because Eagle Nick does not record or live stream the public. Glad to see you again, JD. Did uh, Miss Bella and Miss Amari have a good time at that there fire? Good morning, Miss Bella. Good morning, Miss Amari. How y'all doing this morning? Yeah, I always loved going to the fire when I was a kid. Now, the last time I went to the fire when it came to Dalton, Georgia, was back when my wife was alive and we was together for a little bit again in between our separations. I had bought a whole bunch of tickets for us to go on all kind of rides. But the first ride we went on was a little bit too stressful, stressful for my wife and her heart condition. And I was afraid that it was about to kill her. They would, they didn't know to stop the ride to let us off. So we had to ride it all the way through. And boy, she started turning blue. She had problems with her heart. She had an at atrial fibrillation, AFib. She had pulmonary hypertension. But now after that, I wasn't about to go on any other rides, and my wife was not able to. So I found a man and woman had a couple little kids with them, and I told them, I said, here, my wife has got sick. She has a heart condition. I said, I bought all these tickets for us to ride the rides, but we're not going to be able to ride. I wouldn't ride anything without her. 
And I told them they could have them. Now the man tried to pay me for the tickets, but I told him, said, no, you, you, y'all and y'all's kids can use them. And I hope y'all have fun with them because I bought them for me and my wife to enjoy, but I wouldn't enjoy taking money back for them. I'd rather them be used for the nature they was intended. Got another robin out there playing. I wish that there Miss Robin Turbyfield, Robin Ledford Turbyfield, would get back in touch with me. I ain't heard from her in over a year. I pray that you are doing okay, Robin, if you was to happen to see this. We're showing 16 people on this side right now, and I got married on the 16th. Now we're showing 21. That's actually the legal drinking age. I only see one vehicle down here now. Oh, never mind. Got got another one pulling up. Hey, it is hot as crap out here, and it is humid. There's a lot of moisture in the air. Now, I uploaded a short before I started the live stream of the road over, just the next road over from where I'm at, which is Conway Street. There was a big tree limb. A tree fell out in the road blocking one lane. Now, people coming up and down that road still fly like a bat out of Hades. They do not heed that tree. Now, if they don't hurry up and get it cut up and get it out of the road, they's going to end up being a wreck over there. I would love to be able to show y'all all them little butterflies over here down there by the creek, but if I get close to the creek, it cuts the internet off. Got one fixing to fly over this way if it comes into the view. Had a few of them fly by. Got one of them there robins coming in closer. Hello, little robin. I felt a little bit of a cool breeze there for a minute. That wind is not blowing too much today. Now, it was extreme wind yesterday during that storm. I was hoping that there wouldn't be no wind with it. I'd stated I hope it ain't, there ain't no strong winds blows the rain up under that little shed I was under. But lo and behold, no sooner than I said it, that wind started blowing real hard. Then the rain started falling, and Eagle Nick got wet. There's one of them little butterflies. Oh, it landed. Let's see if we can pull it in where I can get a close-up of that butterfly. There's a beautiful yellow butterfly. There's a lot of them around down here today. Good morning, Jizz Wizard. No, I didn't actually, I didn't actually uh, 
see it back then. I remember everybody saying uh, they think uh, oh, uh, Ned Beatty had trouble going down that dark Ocoee. In that movie, Deliverance, how do they think a Frenchman in a pair of bicycle shorts is going to do? That butterfly flew off over that way. Let's see. Ah, it's headed off too fast. I ain't never going to catch it. It flew over on the playground. I guess it's going to visit some of them kids. There is one man with one little bitty girl down there, probably two or three year old, playing on the playground on this side. Now, there is nobody on the other side. Everybody has actually left. Now, I have not seen them two young ladies that looked like they was waiting on a couple of dudes to come pick them up. I walked out there in the sun for a minute, and boy, was it hot. That is some hot sun. There goes that butterfly. It's headed back over toward the creek. Oh, there's two of them now. That can come by. The other one flew over around the creek. That one landed up there in the trees. There's a bunch of them over here by the creek. Must have landed in a tree again. But I keep seeing a bunch of them over here by that creek. Let's go over to the other side of the table. There's nobody on this playground. Let's see if I can get a if I can get a view of them without cutting off the internet. Them yellow flowers right over there, there's a bunch of them been flying around it. I've seen a bunch of them yellow butterflies out here today. You know, there's a saying that when you see a butterfly, somebody's thinking about you that's passed away. So I've seen a lot of butterflies. So I must have a lot of people in my family that's passed away that's thinking about me. I think about them every day. Yeah, it was. I heard it was pretty awesome that they... Uh, They'd, they'd made sure that, that it was a lot better than it ever was. There goes one of them. Hard to keep up with it. It was flying so fast. Do you know that? Uh, there was one of them wrapped in places up there in the... Uh, I don't remember if it's in Georgia or Tennessee, but it burnt to the ground. That Ocoee rafting. 
I'm sure they probably rebuild it by now. How you doing this morning, Jizz Wizard? You still with us? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was arson, that fire was. That fire would have just started naturally. If you don't know what I mean, won't you stand up and scream? Cause there's things going on that you don't know. Oh, Leonard Skinner said it best. There's things going on that you don't know. You know, they tell us, oh, they ain't nothing to see here. Move along. Well, I guess I'm going to go ahead and get ready to end this live stream. It's getting a little bit too hot down here. I didn't think it would be this humid today. I should have after all that rain. I should have known all that rain is going to get drawn up in the air. Feels like I've been slapped in the face by a hot, wet blanket, and I've been sitting still the whole time. But that humidity is very heavy today. Peace, I. Lightning strike. You have a blessed day, Banjo Jimbo. I guess we can hang out a little bit longer there, Peace, I. I didn't see you come in. Glad to see you. Lightning strike. Welcome back. Hey, it's a lot better. It don't take me long to look at a hornet now, boy. I'll, I'll be a little bit more careful about lifting them bar limbs, if you know what I mean, Byrne. Now, I think I see a hawk flying around up there. I wish I could go out here and live stream it, but I'm afraid if I step out in that sun, I'll melt. Plus, it probably doesn't land it in one of them thar trees by now. It might be fixing to swoop down and try to eat one of them thar robins down here on the ground. Boy, I tell you, it is so hot, I feel like I'm just uh, stewing. I seen a couple of gentlemen up here when I went through the subdivision this morning. They had a big old couple of giant tables out cutting up meat, getting ready to either grill it or cook it some way or another. But boy, when I come back by, it smelled so good. But of course, it's them their type of people that does not invite nobody except people of their own kind. Yeah, I believe that's about what time it would be, about 12, 17. I'm not able to see the phone, you know, to see what time it is, but. No, I would never do that there, lightning strike. I do not try to intrude. Eagle Nick Audits is not rude. I don't go where I'm not wanted or where I'm not invited. Now, if it was a public place, 
I seen them cooking something somewhere that's open to the public. I'll be more than happy to stop in and say howdy. But you know, when you're talking about somebody's private property, especially their home, I should have told them I'm with the health department and I need to inspect that there food to make sure it's cooked properly. But I, I didn't want to be got for impersonating a health inspector. Oh, I knew you was our lightning strike. There's a little bit of a cool breeze blowing around, but not very much. I still haven't drunk any of that there water, but it has got a little bit on the warm side, but it's not completely hot. It's still a little cool. Never too hot for one of them bar 24-7 Rev 100, so I need to put them down. I know it's just hard to do. I shouldn't have never picked them up again when I was quit for so long. Boy, check this one out. There's a monster big old yellow butterfly. I mean, that's big in there. That's twice the size of mother ones. Look at that. That was a big old yellow butterfly. That was one of them there flutter bys. It wouldn't land, it just kept fluttering by. Boy, it is humid out here. I've seen a whole lot of robins out there. There's a lot of big old black ants crawling on me, keep crawling at me, trying to sting me. What you talking about, Vern? Oh, Eagle Nick, all this ain't got no accent. You know what I mean, Burn? Where, oh, where are you tonight? Why did you leave me here all alone? I searched the world over and thought I'd found true love, but you met another and... He was gone. Why, 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 why wonder who? Well, I guess I better stop that door singing because when I do, it's done drop down to nine people in here. But hey, it's nine of the best people on YouTube, and I appreciate you all. We just gained six more, too. We've got 15 of the best people on YouTube. Well, 16 if you count out Eagle Nick, but most of the time I don't count myself. I might talk about myself, but I try not to say anything bad anyway.
We got two robins over here now. Look here, now three of them. Let's see if we can't pull them in. That there's a little bit closer. Them robins has just been hopping around everywhere. Looking for something to eat out here. Oh, I see a squirrel over there bouncing around in the trees, unless that's Tarzan. Well, that little bitty girl's over here playing on this doggone jungle gym thing. I hope she don't get up there and fall and hurt herself. And her daddy's keeping a close eye on her, her granddad, whoever he happens to be, but still. No, sir, sometimes Eagle Nick audits will let that their tongue slip. Now, I try to give the same respect that it's given me. I try not to get angry, and I try my very best not to use profanity. Now, profanity is profanity. Cursing is not cussing. Cursing actually means if you put a curse on somebody. Boy, I'm telling you, it's hotter than crap out here. You know what I mean, Byron? It just seems to be getting hotter and hotter. But hey, old Eagle Nick got to have a awesome breakfast this morning up there at the Greater Works of Dalton. I would like to give a shout out to Mr. Robert Hill and his wife who run that their Greater Works of Dalton. They provide a food pantry and a clothing pantry. They feed the homeless and the less fortunate people with in food insecurities. They are just some awesome people. They are different churches that come up that provides the food. Good afternoon, James. How are you doing? You know, Pisa, the Bible says in the book of James that the tongue is the most unruly member of the body and the hardest to tame because out of the same mouth proceedeth blessings and cursings and it ought not to be that way. Yeah, there's too many people that has the mentality. You know, the Bible says to do unto others as you would have them do unto you. But there's too many people that seems to think that means do it to them before they can do it to you. But now Jesus said that we are supposed to forgive our brother 70 times 7 but that is not placing a physical number of times that we are to forgive our brother. Now, when it says our brother, it means all of mankind, not just your relatives.
Hey, Eagle Nick Aldich, when I had my second encounter with Officer Buffoon, he called me out by name a second time. Now, the first time he called me by name, I kept calling him sir. But when he called me by name a second time, it was the second time a Dalton Police Department officer had called me Mr. Nicholson when they did not have no legal authority to know my name or to be saying my name, doxing me on my videos. I had called him pig face and I said, how you like that? But when I asked for his name and badge number again and found out it was the exact same officer that I done told about calling me by name, well, it sort of made Eagle Nick a little mad. And I did call him a few different things that I normally would not say. And the other officer, Officer Allen, that chose to follow Officer Bethune's example when he seen the reaction it got by Bethune calling me by my name, chose to do it anyway, well, I might have came at him a little bit harsher with the words. But as I've said, I give the same respect that I'm given I do not go out trying to provoke anybody. They do not have strings on their back, and I do not have a script. My first name is Stephen, but my last name ain't King. You know what I mean, Byrne. I doubt I can say that. No, I do not believe I can say that dar word. I'm sorry. Conchismer. What the heck's conchismer? I do not understand that. I will not cease my investigation. Shag, if you don't like my investigation, you're free to leave at any time. And if you need help, I'll be glad to oblige you and give you a little push, if you know what I mean. Well, I appreciate you. I don't know what I just said. I hope it wasn't nothing bad. Now, Eagle Nick Audit said it unaware of what it means. Uh, I hope it doesn't mean anything disrespectful. Look, there's about 10 robins up there, boy. Look at, look at them. Now, that motorcycle scared them. There was a bunch of them up through there. There must be a lot of worms in the grass. They keep flying down in that grass looking for something to eat. But I guess we're going to get ready to end this live stream. I appreciate everyone who has come in. If you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Like, share, and comment on as many of my shorts, videos, and past live streams as you possibly can and or will. Now, when you watch my shorts, my videos, and my live streams, past live streams, if them there ads come on, I would truly appreciate it if you let the ads play. That way, Eagle Nick Audits can receive a few pennies. There goes that darn mailman. I bet you they ain't got that darn cash app with them card. I've had a cash app card been shipped for way over 100 days. I've actually lost count of exactly how many days. It's probably closer to 120. 
that I never received. And I did order another card and had it sent to a different address and got it seven days from the day it was shipped. But that original Cash App card that was coming to my primary address has been shipped for well over 100 days and I never received it, I guess because the postmaster has it up on her wall using it as a dartboard, along with my arrest picture, I'm sure. No, Brett, well, hang around a little bit, brother. I didn't realize you had came in. Did you go out and get us a good video of that thar storm when it hit Calhoun? It might be the feds that a post office is a department of the federal government. Did y'all get that storm as hard as we got it up here? It hit hard and fast. Well, you need to get it uploaded if you don't want to upload it yourself. <coughs> you can email it to me at eaglenickaudits at gmail.com. I'll lowercase one word, eaglenickaudits at gmail.com, and I will upload it. I will give you the credit for it if you would like or won't if you don't. You know what I mean, Vern? But it is a beautiful, beautiful day. Look at them clouds, how gorgeous it is out here. I don't want to get out in the sun because that sun is relentless. It just tries to peel the skin off of me. Dagum it, but look, if you deleted it, it'll still be in your phone in the trash unless you deleted it out of the trash. You go in your phone to the trash and you will be able to find it. Eagle Nick Audits at gmail.com. All lowercase, one word, just like it is on my YouTube channel, except it is all lowercase. E-A-G-L-E-N-I-C-K-A-U-D-I-T-S at gmail.com. Yeah, Brett, if uh, you didn't delete it out of the trash, it stays in your trash for 30 days. It is automatically deleted after the, out of the trash after 30 days. Now that is sweet, uh, but I wish that I wish that, that was possible. Thank you, Miss Amari. I appreciate you. It would be an honor for Eagle Nick to meet you and Miss Bella and Mr. JD. I wish it was possible. We are a little bit farther apart. Boy, that breeze feels mighty, mighty good. If it stayed, if that wind stayed blowing like that, I could stay on here all day. I won't be so hot. It's just starting to get so hot and humid out here. Can y'all hear them cicadas and Katie Dids? They love that heat. The hotter it is, the better they like it.
Now, I thought maybe we might have a Whitfield County Sheriff's Department officer cruise by today. I've not seen any. Neither have I seen any Dalton Police Department officers. And it has really surprised me how they've not been having any ball games down here in the past month or so. We have had some real good weather that I thought they usually have ball games during, I guess because it's just been so hot. They don't want them little kids to get out there and have a heat stroke trying to play baseball, which is a good thing. It, it's not good for a little kid to get too hot. You know, because they don't care. They're like, I'm going to keep on playing. You know what I mean, Burn? There's starting to be a lot more people pulling up the parking lot and probably going to have kids with them going to come out here playing on the playground. So... Yep, they definitely got kids with them. No, I never have. I, I, I put everything I had into my marriage and any of the women I knew before then, when they came around, I told them, you know, that I'm married and they all moved off or died off. I had this one lady I was seeing. Her name was Robin, but I have not seen her in uh, around a year. I hope she's all right. I was praying that she might come by and see me sometime. I'm sort of in fear that the reason I've not seen her is so in so long is because something might have happened to her. You know, I do not take the newspaper, so I don't know if. She might have passed away and her obituary was in a paper and I missed it. If by chance, Robin, you was to see this, Robin Ledford Turbyfield, I'd appreciate it if you'd get in touch with me sometime. I miss you, lady. I figured I would have heard from you by now. I actually still wear my wedding ring, even though my wife has been passed away going on six years, because we are still married. And look, I mentioned my wife, and there goes that butterfly flew directly in front of us. Like I said, they say when you see a butterfly, somebody's thinking about you that's passed away. Will you tell that lady I said thank you so much? I appreciate that. So is they people at your office that watches my YouTube channel too, or did you just show them? Good afternoon, Mr. Sean Little. It is an honor to see you again, my friend. How are you doing today? We got a cool breeze blowing in again. I'm feeling energized and revived. But we're down to two of them. We got one in the pack and one in my hand. 
So we can stay down here a little bit longer. Good afternoon, destructive boys. Don't be too destructive. Good afternoon, Leon Musk. How you doing? You've always got them controversial questions for old Eagle Nick. I try not to think about that. Ain't heard anything about that subject in a very long time. Eagle Nick is just hanging out, chilling out, having a meet and greet. Asking everybody that's new, if they would, to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now, if you think this here live stream is a little bit crazy or not something you would like, Eagle Nick Audits would like to ask you to give me the benefit of the doubt and at least check out my YouTube channel. Check out my shorts, my videos. And I'm sure you will see something that you might like. I would really and truly appreciate a subscribe as well. Boy, that wind feels good. Every now and then we get a cool breeze blowing up and under here, and it just makes me feel a whole lot better. Now, I did not go over yonder. Let me show you where I usually sit. Here lately, I've been sitting at one of them two picnic tables way over there. Now, that one uh, over to the right of that behind them trees, you can't see it. That's where I did that live stream yesterday evening, got caught out in that big old major storm. Now, I came down here knowing that it was fixing to come a storm, but I did not know that it was going to be anything like it was. There was real high wind. There was a whole lot of lightning. There was extreme wind. With a whole lot of rain, I got soaking wet. My bike got soaking wet, and I moved my phone because that little girl stopped her little electric bike right in front of my line of view. I did not know that she was going to do that. I'd like to apologize. Now, I was looking at an empty park over there. She's took off now. But boy, that little electric bike she rides flies like a bat. Look, there's a big old lizard. Look. Look at that big old lizard. We call them railroad lizards. You'll be able to see it real good there if it goes on that. Oh, it's going down in that concrete. No, there it is. We call those railroad lizards. You mainly see them around the railroad. They like it real hot. The real hot weather. I believe I scared it. Oh, it went around this side. Hold on. Maybe we can get a view of it if it didn't hide. Oh, it went up in that crack up in there. There it is. Look, you see its tail sticking out. They have a bluish silver color to them. Yeah, it's hiding. Yeah, man, there it is. It come out on the backside here. There it is. Here it is, look at it. Trying to hide from us. There it is. If I can find it, I see it with my eyes. It keeps going around that thing, trying to get out of the way.
Good afternoon, Mr. Alan Davis. How are you doing, my friend? I'm sorry if I missed you there. I was trying to follow that there railroad lizard. It done hit on me in that crack. It might have crawled around the other side. It's trying to hide. It said I did not have the authority to be recording it. Yeah, it went up in there and hid. Yes, sir, Alan, that is a big old railroad lizard, but it done went up there and hid up in that crack. It went right up in the crack up there. You see that big crack? It went in there and hid, and they like the sun. They like to be out in the sun, but... That one there didn't like to be recorded. It said, I'm getting out of here. You ain't got no authority to be recording me, but I wasn't recording, I was live streaming. Now, if that bad boy would have bit me on that thar hand, I'd have been live screaming. You know what I mean, Byrne? <laughs> we got the old bicycle down here with us again. But why, boy, you ain't a lying. If we end up with Kamala Harris, that'll be the end of the United States of America, not as we know it, but as the United States of America, period. You know, some people start at the bottom and work their way up. Some people get there by nefarious means. <laughs> now, during Donald John Trump's first term as president, the Democrats were paying for people to burn stuff to the ground, all trying to make Donald John Trump look bad. And Senator Kamala Harris was a part of a bail fund group who were bailing out them protesters, which she called peaceful protesters and said she hopes that they do not stop well, of course they didn't stop. They were getting paid by the Democrats. All I know to say is you better hold on to the seat of your britches. This country is in for a wild, wild ride. That American flag you seeing over there is starting to hang limp instead of flying proud. And I'm afraid it's going to stay that way if you know what I mean, Byrne. This world is headed towards something that we cannot escape. But there is a way to survive, and that is through Jesus Christ. Make sure you know him. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but his words will never pass away. Now, the park is starting to fill up a little bit more. That makes number six. 
six vehicles that's came in, five already parked, and that one is parking as well. Looks like it may be a fine lady fixing to get out by herself. She's parked way out in the middle of the parking lot. We don't want to intrude on her privacy, though. Nope, looks like she may, but she's opened her back passenger side door on the driver's side, so maybe she's getting a kid out, but surely she wouldn't park way over there in the hot sun to bring a kid all the way across the parking lot. <clears throat> I hope she ain't setting up no gun sights. You know, Pisa, that is such a horrible thing that people get so hateful because people say, make America great again. I cannot see the logic behind anybody getting mad about somebody wanting to make America a better place. <clears throat> to make America strong again, to make us what we used to be. This country is nothing like it once was. The American people does not have that much control. Ooh, I, I heard something sound like something blowing up. Somebody might be shooting a cannon. Good afternoon, Kevin. JP, glad to see you. America, land of the free because of the brave. What is so bad about somebody wanting to save America from what it has become? Where our government seeks to have total control over our lives. If you've never heard Mr. Oliver Anthony, his song, Rich Men North of Richmond, make sure you check it out. And you will see exactly what it is all about. It's all about total control, not just in the United States, but all over the world. They are pushing us toward a new world order, a one world government with one world leader. It is a coming, ready or not. It is even at the doors. United we stand, but divided we fall. Now, I guess we are going to go ahead and end this live stream. I thank you all for coming in. If you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe. And if you would, share as many of my shorts, my videos, and past live streams as you possibly can. Eagle Nick would be honored if I could reach 7,777 subscribers before I go to my court first court appearance on September the 16th. The second one is scheduled for September the 30th. Now, my channel will be 
Well, actually, my YouTube account is 12 years old. I've had a YouTube account for 12 years. But on August the 23rd, it will be eight months that I have been creating content. Now, to be blessed with over 7,200 subscribers in less than eight months is truly a blessing to Eagle Nick Audits. And it is all because of awesome people like y'all. It has nothing to do with me because united we stand, but divided we fall. Not just one, but us all. Now, Eagle Nick Audits has said this many times, and a lot of people says it's a lie, but Eagle Nick Audits loves all of mankind. We were all created in the image of our creator. We all have basic human rights. Take care of yourself, but take care of each other. I consider you all my sister or brother. If you see somebody that looks like they are struggling or maybe they are hurting, don't just pass them by turning a blind eye or a deaf ear. One day it could be your voice that someone else will hear. Show love and compassion and always be true. Eagle Nick. Oh, I love y'all. I am Eagle Nick, and I'm out.